The gold miners EDF GDX has actually broken out from the down channel six weeks ago and started to outperform the S&P 500 index. In this video, you will find out the top three gold stocks that are set to explode to the upside and also how you can ride on this strong bullish momentum. Gold futures and also the gold ETF will be covered in the video. So let's get started now. So obviously the first stocks that I'm going to show you is the gold miners ETF GDX. So as I mentioned earlier on, GDX has been in a downtrend um, for quite a couple of months and only just broken out of this down channel six weeks ago. So you can see that once it's actually broken out from this down channel and started with some of the momentum and followed by a minor backing up action and subsequently here is the strong uptrend so if you just take a look at this um, relative strength and i actually compare it to the s p 500 the spx so you can see that actually outperformed this s p 500 index for quite a couple of weeks and let's just focus on the past few trading day session so as you can see, since this uptrend started right here, and the pullback is very shallow, and especially during this last pullback, is pretty much a very tight consolidation with decreasing supply. And if we pay a closer look, this pullback is actually probably just tested one half of this bullish momentum bar. So this is indeed one of the bullish character itself. So I just expect that this is a sign of uh, supply absorption and we'll see a breakout happen soon and it will just go up to test the higher targets. Um, if we just take a zoom out view, the resistance that I'm having uh, here is somewhere around 42. That's just pretty much based on the previous swing high level. And you can see that this is a strong get down action right there. So it's currently just bombing into this supply zone right here. So it's actually testing this supply zone. So once it's ready to move up, this is pretty much the natural target place, 42, followed by the next resistance at about 45 or 46. Okay, so next we'll just uh, look into uh, gold futures. So. As we can see here, Gold Future has been trending up nicely since April, the bottom form in April. And it's right at the moment, uh, we can see here, this very strong momentum move up that comes with uh, aggressive volume. So suggested that there is aggressive demand come in to actually push up the price. So this is indeed a very bullish momentum and also bullish signs for Gold futures to actually continue to move up to test at least the target price at about 1950 or 1960. So pretty much is the swing high level. So you can see that every time um, the price actually hits this level, there is a very strong impulsive down movement. So another again, this is another strong impulsive down movement. And this is the, the first time we actually had this strong impulsive down movement where you actually break down from this FX formation or the symmetrical triangle. So naturally, I think this is a very good place for gold to have some sort of the reaction. And then we need to judge the character from there on. So at the moment, I'm still very bullish about uh, gold futures and also the gold ETF itself. And now, Let's just uh, jump into the, the first stocks I'm going to share with you. So this is HL, Hekla Mining. So at the first glance, this is uh, pretty much a reaccumulation uh, trading range. So you can see that there is um, one thing that stands out. There's the spike of the volume. I think that could be um, related to the Wall Street bets where at that moment, there is a lot of the speculation about the uh, silver uh, ETF and also the gold mining ETF as well. So that could be uh, that day. But anyway, let's just uh, tackle from the price action point of view. So we can see that there is a spike of the supply right there, which essentially just stopping 
uh, the up move. And here comes the reaction down that comes with relatively high supply level. And subsequently, it's still pretty much consolidate within uh, the trading range itself. So you can see that that is the trading range from about 4.5 to about 7. And just a couple of weeks ago, we see there is a good strong momentum breakout followed by a backup action and subsequently another acceleration to the upside. And if we just pay attention to the past probably two weeks, there is a very interesting movement happening right there. So we can see that the low of each candle is getting lift up, up and up. So this is a sign of the supply absorption process where we see that the volume has been decreasing throughout. So while it's holding up the gain with the lows being lift up, and the volume is getting lower and lower. I think that uh, we could see some of the bullish breakout bar to the upside and continue to the uh, bullish momentum. The first resistance that uh, I'm going to show you is somewhere around 11. That's pretty much based on the previous swing high level. So that's the previous swing high level back to all the way to about 2011. So many, many years ago, 10 years ago, um, there's a swing high level that could form a potential resistance level at 11. So we just need to see how it can actually react or interact at 11 uh, once it can break out from this very obvious uh, immediate resistance level at 9. Okay. By the way, if you enjoyed this video and find it useful so far, appreciate if you can just like this YouTube video and also subscribe to my channel. That will mean a lot to me. All right, back to the video. Next stock is GFI. Okay, so GFI go fuse uh, LDD. So let's just uh, take a look at the structure. So this is slightly probably stronger. I think this is very similar to the uh, gold miners ETF itself. And we definitely see there's a accumulation structures going on at the bottom right there. And very similar to the previous chart, there is a breakout happen followed by a pulling back. Uh, tested the previous resistance. Resistance now turned as a support level and subsequently followed by a marking up stage. Restoration to the upside. So let's also uh, focus on the past few trading days or maybe a week and a half. Um, one thing that actually stands out is definitely this spike of the supply. So we can see that supply has been increased definitely on this bar itself corresponding to the serration to the upside, a bit of the climactic up move. Um, however, I think the reaction is very healthy. So why is that so? So let's just take a look at the, the reaction right here. So you can see that the up move, the acceleration to the upside is very intensive all the way from 9.5 to 12.5, probably in two, three weeks time frame. And subsequently, this spike of the supply actually stopping this up move into this little trading range. But if you look at the reaction or the magnitude of the reaction is relatively shallow. So I think this is a uh, bullish uh, characters of the whole development of the uh, up move here. So in terms of the reaction, we definitely see there's a let down and subsequently followed by another test here. So there's another test here. So far, it's still pretty much uh, stuck within this trading range uh, from 12.5 to about probably 11.7. So I think that um, definitely, if we can just uh, pull back and test the immediate uh, support level, that could um, form potentially good reward to risk ratio uh, to upside. Otherwise, we just need to wait uh, for a breakout and continue to the upside. The immediate resistance level obviously is at about 12.5, which is the swing high level at this buying climax high and followed by 13. So let's zoom out a little bit to see the previous swing high level turn as a support. So you can see that this swing high level and also this swing high. So 13, 14, there's a 
resistance overhead right there. So I think that based on the momentum uh, developed here, we definitely can see some kind of the uh, resume momentum upwards and test the resistance right here, 13 to 14. And then we need to see how it can actually uh, react from this resistance zone. All right, so this is GFI and the last stock is a well-known stock. Okay, so this is NEM, Newmon. So Newmon Corporation um, is just having this great accumulation structure or reaccumulation structure. So we see a serration to the upside. So let's just uh, maybe start from here and analyze a little bit right here. So this is uh, pretty much the COVID sell-off and we see a kind of a very uh, shake out type movement or the V V type bottom and subsequently followed by um, trending up right there and there is a shortening of the upward trust right here and forming uh, potentially set up a change of character move down so this is the down wave that actually sets up the boundary of the trading range so you can see that it has been stucking uh, within this trading range for almost a year. So that's uh, last year, May, and last year, June, uh, to this year, May and June. So pretty much a uh, one year courses has been built up for Newmont. So in terms of the volume signature, we definitely see some kind of the uh, supply going down right here. And in terms of the price movement, there is um, not much happening. It's just pretty much testing the support and the resistance right there. And like the previous stock, so this up move actually started uh, somewhere in May. And we see a sign of strength rally breaking out. So once it has broken out from the accumulation structure, look at how shallow and tight is the reaction. Uh, for the past two weeks. So we see that there's a serration to the upside and there is a spike of the supply uh, on this bullish momentum bar and essentially stopping this up move and into a trading range. And look at this. This is pretty much just a, a flag type of the formation. So this is the flag pole and then this is the flag. So if we can just break out and definitely there's a Continuation to the upside, if you can just uh, pretty much project this flagpole based on a one-to-one -one projection, uh, somewhere around 62 to maybe 72, about 10 points, and you can add it up maybe from 72 to uh, plus 10, roughly about 82. So that is the immediate target price. In terms of the previous overhead resistance, I think that uh, we're just hitting uh, the all-time high level. All right, so this is NEM, I think is very bullish so either way you can try to uh, maybe wait for this kind of the flag breakout trade or if you want maybe look for some kind of the spring maybe just a temporary commitment below and followed by a reversal up so either way i think this uh, flag formation is very tight enough and it's great for trading all right so this is uh nem and i think it's still very bullish so if you'd like to learn more on how to increase your winning rate and also find out other trading opportunities, definitely check out the video that I showed on the screen right now. And do remember to just join my newly formed Telegram group and also my uh, weekly exclusive update uh, via email. So just check out the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.